Okay, this video is going to be about pattern swatches in Illustrator, which are very useful. Um, they're used in apparel design, but you can also use them with type. And I'll show you a couple examples really quick right here. So I have a camo pattern and I'll zoom in here a little bit, but if you see I drag it up and tile it, it's tileable in full repeat. So this thing can be used as a pattern swatch. And what we can do is go into our swatches window, which is window swatches. And all you need to do is if you have a pattern already in a rectangular repeat, you can drag it into your swatches here. And now you can apply it to things like type or these board shorts. Um, a lot of guys that design apparel like woven tops or board shorts will use pattern swatches and a lot of times this helps with uh, doing cads or doing colorways and let me show you a little bit about that so i have another pattern here and it's pretty much in repeat as is you know just black vectors let me get rid of this camo pattern here but you'll see if i drag copies to the side and above or below it also tiles um, and i had a question from a customer about recoloring a pattern swatch so if i just take this as is and drag it into my swatches here i can apply that pattern swatch to these board shorts but how do I recolor that is the question. So if you have the pattern already on your artboard, you can work with that. The other thing you can do is if it's already a pattern swatch, you can drag it back out. And usually with Illustrator, Illustrator will apply kind of a bounding box. It's just like a, a transparent box. I'm just gonna select that, cut it, and then when I go back to this, it's pretty much exactly like the one below it. But I'm gonna use that box. I'm gonna paste that in back and actually apply a color to it. So let's give it just like a, like a gray. And the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select the whole thing and scale it down a bit. And let's do, let's make a, another copy of that, just option drag a copy over. Let's do like a blue color version of this. And maybe I'll make the pattern in there, say like a white, something like that. So we have those now, and we can just now drag those back in to our swatches. And now we can go in and select that fill shape and apply the new patterns to it. So really useful. Um, you know, maybe in another video, I'll go into how to actually put a pattern into repeat, but that's how you can recolor and also scale your pattern swatches. 